You just hit the button. I just hit the button. That is it. We are live. Well, we're, we are recording. We're recording. Uh, <clears throat> everything we say now has consequences. Holy crap, that's deep. <laughs> and the internet is forever. Uh, if if I, unless I, you know, uh, chicken out and I don't post it. But I post videos regularly. Uh, anybody that sees this is going to see that, oh, it's Technoblix uploading something else that I, I'm not really interested in. Yeah, I, I know you're not going to chicken out. Uh, mostly because um, it'll be me that says something that's uh, totally embarrassing. Oh, okay. Well, I'm I'm good with that. I'll 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 give you stink eye. That's. So, how long has it been <laughs> since your last video upload? I just checked that five months. Five months. Uh, <clears throat> I I usually upload a little more often than that, but everything's kind of been happening. Twenty twenty three has been going on, uh, so. Uh, with the uh, my separation. Oh yeah. Now that I'm now that I'm single. Have you so updated? I'm pulling up. I mean, are there people in your listeners? Are there people that uh, that uh, have a, a bloody care about your personal life? Have you updated them, or is that something you don't normally do? I don't normally talk about that. That's that's one of the reasons I was a little. Um, this feels different. <clears throat> <clears throat> Is because uh, normally I'll have a uh, a topic that I'm interested in, or I'm just gaming and shooting the shit. Um, so this is not a topic specifically where I've I've thought out my idea or I've thought my thought, and I just want to get it off my chest. This is more of a conversation, and I see other people doing it all the time. On because uh, we watch them all the time. That interviews. is the whole point of this. Yeah. Just uh, in case anybody, uh, any of your. Uh, normal viewers are wondering we know that uh we talk all the time the conversations that we have we do not hear out there so with any luck at all we are saying a conversation that some of the some of your regular you know listeners viewers have also not heard and who knows maybe with any luck at all we can blow a few minds maybe uh, we always do seem to come at topics from a slightly different direction Especially you. than I use than I than I usually see uh and I just yeah I didn't I was going in fact I was going over today and I was a little annoyed uh because I've been just again with the separation and cleaning the house and just uh, uh everything is covered in dust and I've been snotting and cleaning and uh trying to get my house in order and Jordan Peterson pops into my, you know, my favorite person, <laughs> Jordan Peterson. And, uh, it, it kind of linked with another, uh, YouTuber that said, uh, are ADHD videos coming up in your algorithm a lot? I'm like, maybe why? <laughs> and, and so I'm trying to compensate for the apparently ADHD uh, stuff I got going on since Art. chemo and Cipro and, and Are life. Are ADHD videos labeled as such? Yeah. I mean, oh, okay. Uh, Cause I was like, oh, yeah. how would I know? Yeah. Well, it says uh, how to deal with ADHD or I am uh, 50 something and just diagnosed with ADHD, things like that. Uh, and autism usually is ADHD and autism together. Uh, so I don't, I don't have any, real intention of getting diagnosed it's i think at 53 it's uh i'm but they have a lot of uh ways to deal with it uh so did and the dander trigger it or or did the dander just make you think of, make you think of jordan peterson no the cleaning uh oh, the cleaning. cleaning my cleaning my room whoa what a connection cleaning my room uh <laughs> And it's not the thing I was, uh, it, it, it annoyed me that it was Jordan Peterson that popped into my head because, because he said Seriously. it, but he didn't say he said it, but he did not originate it. It is a, a tactic. It's a tactic for ADHD people to keep their thoughts in order. Cause if you have too much clutter, it, it helps to scatter your, your thoughts and I need, I, I need to 
I need to get those thoughts in order or, or I'm, I'm sliding. So as, as I've got, it didn't used to be, I, well, I think it didn't used to be as bad, but I think I was also younger and, and had more energy and was able to just push through it. Damn it. And I, I don't have that anymore. So I need, I'm struggling a bit because again, 2023, everything's happening. Uh, with taking care of dad also, I, I don't know if I've ever said, see the other thing is I've never mentioned any of this in my videos, uh, of, of any of my relationships, okay. taking you care of my father. You never talked my... too much about personal life. No, I, I talked about being a massage therapist and owning a massage center, uh, and doing janitor work. And cause I used to have a lot of thoughts when scrubbing toilets. <laughs> like you do. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, that's a very thought provoking. I, I would imagine you have the same doing IT when you're uh, uh, taking in fiber or, or <laughs> doing fiber. When I'm running uh, fiber. Running fiber. You, you, oh, I want to do a shout out, quick shout out to uh, DG360. Am I backwards again? I am backwards again. Son of a bitch. No, that's right. Is that right for you? Do you see I'm, I'm also is a it... mirror image of myself, just to let you know. I don't know if that it okay. doesn't totally matter. I probably look better with okay. a mirror image. So it's, it seems mirror image on on that. I just want to... Can I switch that? Oh, then I can switch that on. I recognize you now. Oh, good, good. Can you read my shirt? I also want to represent... Or is it backwards? Uh, no, that's just, that is backwards. I don't recognize okay. you at all. Okay. There, there we go. We'll oh, go back to dude, the other way. There you are. It's good. It's good to be recognized. Uh, DG, uh, uh, some of his listeners and he may listen to this or watch this. Not this long, drawn out gobbledygook that we're doing. That's okay. Who, who is he exactly? <clears throat> He's a, a streamer, a Twitch streamer. Talks about Star Citizen. And uh, he generally tries to keep it light, but he also dips into the economy a bit. Oh, I know uh, who you're talking about. He was the one that actually originated that idea of clean your room. Jordan Peterson stole it from him. Right. That's the one. That's. <clears throat> uh, but no, Jordan Peterson popped in my head because uh, uh, I need, I'm trying to get my head clean by cleaning my room. And that annoyed me that I thought of Jordan Peterson instead of a proper doctor that. Uh was using as a diagnosis. <laughs> yes. I, I, Jordan Peterson. Yeah. Damn it. And so right then it's good ideas. Yeah. And right now I just, I, I tore my office to pieces, uh, trying to set this up, trying to get it so I can have access to the back of the desk and, and yeah, it's, from here it looks pretty ripped up. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's, it's uh, it's I, I mean, it's just it's oh. it's yeah. There's there's, it's, <laughs> it's the, the back of my, I, yeah. It's just I got stuff back yeah, here. I the the bottom, yeah. Under my desk looks like I gutted CT for you. Yes. Uh, so yeah, trying to get my life in order. Uh, twenty twenty three, is is all the things seem to be happening. Now, that picture once. behind you there, is that a picture out of Star Citizen? Is that one of yours? It is. Um, it is. That is it a is very fine-looking piece. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I, I was messing with uh, canvas prints, and so that's one of the canvas prints. Uh, I also have uh, towels thumbtacked onto the walls to re reduce the echo a little bit. Oh, nice. And my... And my thinking was, uh, instead of doing the canvas, which is still kind of reflective, uh, I was going to have some printed on fuzzy towels and then mount the fuzzy towels on a, a, a thing and maybe have some noise canceling with some pretty pictures on it. But I'll tell you what, if I ever, if I ever get, if I ever get testicles at all, um, mm. I will, I will probably, um, play star citizen to a, to a, a, a much larger degree. Uh, I found it to be quite a fun game, but of course, obviously the, the, the problem is, is, uh, that I don't have tactical. So I don't say to my girlfriend, 
of six years. I'm going to go play video games now. Uh, isn't her son into that? Does, isn't she quite I, I warmed know, I, up I, to I, that I'd idea? Love, I'd love the name drop right now, and I don't know if I... If, if, is that legal? Is that legal to name drop? Would that be okay? You can name drop. I've, I was told by she who shall not be named to not... Uh, name drop her? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll not use her name then. <laughs> what alias shall we assign her? She who shall not be named. My ex, the ex. I know, but that's so. That's such a ex. mouthful. She who shall not be named. That's like a... Schnimmel. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know. Her. Just, just call her her. Just her, them, okay. they, her. Uh, no, I, I don't know. Well, um, since, since uh, West Drum is already uh, a, a, a no name, it's just, it's a, that's a handle, uh, then I, I guess I could say that uh, for lack of any more elucidation, elucidation, uh, I uh, am closely associated with West Drum of West Drum Gaming, and there's some probably very young gamers, uh, probably nobody on your list, obviously, who would be like, Yet. oh, West Drum Gaming, I know West Drum Gaming, okay, yeah. West Drum. But, uh, no, but yes, you're right. He, he does do the video game thing all the time. He, he doesn't, you know, get me static for it. I would get static. He also has you would get, you would get static for playing video games, but he doesn't. Yes. That that doesn't seem. If you want to, fair. if you want to suggest that it points out a double standard or even unfair. There's many other things in a relationship that I could probably point out that are not openly fair, but oh. you're gonna. What if you were doing an interview in a podcast? I beg your pardon. What if you were just you said I, I'm having an interview? Uh, oh, well, amazingly enough, or recording okay. a podcast. That was already. That'd be okay. That was already a, a, a thing that came up in conversation with regards to the, the podcast thing. Oh. And how does she feel about podcasting? Oh, that's why I'm doing it from work. I see. Yes, Sean just got the revelation. <laughs> I haven't told you that yet. <laughs> I see. Uh, well, you know, I have another office in the house at the moment. Of uh, 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 granddaughter has her gaming rig in the other room. Yep, so yep. if at any point. You want to come in, and it, we it could. It might work out could, like that. It might that might be okay. the situation as as it works out. There's so many options, possibilities, and um, okay, you know, because I wouldn't be that would be that would actually be kind of fun. Uh, I can't. I my my total lymphocyte count is now 508, so it's now above 500. Oh. Woo! Um, but it's still it's it's I still can't of uh, of uh, breathe the peasant's air yet um not for a bit and i don't think it's going to come up for another year and a half or so uh, that so, sentence you know generally i think if it wasn't 2023 or the 2020s and it wasn't so chaotic uh, i would be annoyed but at the moment i'm i'm quite happy using it as an excuse to either not go out, not have someone over, or in Florida, wear a mask, and anybody giving me the stink eye, I can go, I've got cancer. You're the asshole for judging me. Because <laughs> down here, I still get uh, uh, some stink eye wearing yeah. the mask when if you know the, the, the Trump truck uh, pulls up and I'm wearing a mask. Of course, I'm wearing it because you would politics. Be getting that anywhere in the United States, with maybe maybe the exception of California. Um, in terms of maybe. wearing the mask, being a lot of people who feel like they've come to their senses and stopped, don't 
take into consideration that somebody might still actually have a very, very legitimate and very important reason for wearing masks. And that might be somewhat pronounced in Florida. And for that, I'm sorry. It's uh, the bigger issue, I think, with me, because I see, oh, I am really hot. Hold on. Um, I see a lot of older people. Bop, bop, bop. Let me let me just chill that down. Uh, I see a lot of older people wearing the masks, and it's clear that they have a health issue. The problem I'm having is I don't. You don't have look any other sick. appearances of health. I don't. In in fact, my therapy has always been, as it always has been, and always will be, uh, working out, yoga, stretching physical. Uh, so I've always looked really healthy, but cancer limp of uh, non Hodgkin's lymphoma doesn't really care how you look. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's still the, the chemo still makes it so I can't breathe the, the air of everybody else, which is why I keep constantly thinking about the mask, like make it look cool, make it cosplay. And then maybe I can get uh, other people that don't want to wear it for health reasons to wear it for cool reasons. Because I don't want to breathe the air. The mask with a predator headdress. That would be, that would be friends. Yeah, well. <laughs> yeah, well. Eh. I want to make it look cool. It's 20. And the other thing is, it's 2023. Have you seen Cyberpunk? I have seen Cyberpunk. You, uh, the 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 anime series. Oh, or, an anime series. I have not seen an anime yeah, series. Yeah, there's, there's I forgot what the name of the chemo makes my brain. But there's an anime series about cyberpunk and uh, huh. and and all the sci-fi we read and all the technology we have. I mean, we have uh, well, starting to have self-driving cars, electric cars, rockets to Mars. We got a lot of cool stuff. Oh, yeah. Why aren't we wearing cool clothes other than it's Florida and 500 degrees outside? What do you call this? Well, it's professional. It I, is. I know. Is, I know. I dress like my grandpa. It's a bit smock like. <laughs> it, it's just a button down the front shirt with um I, I wear cargo pants of course right. I, I work in it <laughs> well i'm also wearing cargo pants so I, I'll, I'll forgive you the cargo pants because it's got pockets what could i wear at work that would be cool like a cyberpunk that would, uh, would that <laughs> uh, a utility vest there's the there's there's a, a a vest that has velcro on it and snaps where you can stick stuff and it can like like a girdle sucks you in the middle, so it makes your chest stick out. And then you could wear that exact thing underneath it. Bulletproof. It's a little warm. Yeah. Well, it's not bulletproof, but yeah, it's uh, <laughs> uh, a, it's not a it's a tactical it's a tactical tool vest. So it's not a. I've been looking into that for the for some cosplay. I've been kind of designing cosplay something cool in the back of my head for a while. Uh, that I'll probably never wear. Again, because it's hot. I used to wear crazy stuff. I used to be way more adventurous, and then I got old and sick and tired. And it's it's the people... old, it, it, it's a real bummer, and I don't even want to get into it because I'm sure that that would. I'm this conversation is probably not going to be just super super entertaining for anybody else that's watching it. Uh, it's it's and it's start for, talking about how it's we got us. old. It'll it'll go downhill in a hurry. Uh, although life extension, they're still really kicking on it they are uh, they keep saying 10 years 70 is the new 20. yeah i hope so <laughs> and even though i look in the mirror and i don't recognize myself at all it's that was always kind of the case but it's gotten worse with age um i know that i still get mistaken personally i get mistaken for 30 all the time so i just gotta keep that up i i I don't anymore. I think it's it's not the way I look. I think it's the bitterness in my eyes that makes me look older. Oh, yeah. Well, I would do it. It's, yeah, it's, I probably still look okay. But I look <laughs> Don't go to It's wearing on me. Please me. It's, yeah. 
it wears on you. In fact, even video games, I've been having to force myself to play video games because it's like, ah, just tired. I still, I still do. But with regards to what somebody could wear to work, if I go back to visit that thread real quick, I just got to tell you, there is a, just a bit of confusion that I have always had, always and forever have had. And that is only in that I still don't really understand why there is such a disparity between how men dress and how women dress. And through the decades, there has been little tiny glimmers of change on that score. Like, I remember there was a, a huge kerfuffle in the early 90s when there was a, a skirt. A, 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 it was, in fact, it was if I remember right, it was like a... It was like Utilicilt. a... Yeah, it was very kilt -like. He called it the utila kilt. It was very kilt like <clears throat> and but it was um pinstriped. So so that you could wear your, your jacket and your pinstripe shirt and your tie with this thing. And that, that caused a huge kerfuffle in the early nineties as there were some uh male pro types thinking, I'll wear this skirt to work. But they did it and then they were immediately embarrassed and that lasted all of about six months of a kerfuffle before they were like, Oh fuck that work. I mean, screw that. Yeah. Sorry, edit that out. <clears throat> screw that. We're right back to wearing slacks. Why is there such a thing? Uh, how come guys don't get away with wearing high heels in a professional work environment? And there's some some short guys that would probably love to get away with wearing something that would give well, them a little bit of elevation. And except they do. And and they're and they're lambasted for it. No, no. They wear high heels, but they wear the platform logos. most beige, unexciting of, uh, yeah, I don't. But what you've just hit on there is, is kind of what exactly what I'm talking about. What guys have to wear in a professional work environment, it doesn't matter if you're, you're a white collar or blue collar or, or IT, um, which is some kind of weird collar, uh, you cannot, as a guy, in, as a guy, you cannot wear anything that's super exciting. Chicks get to wear exciting no. stuff all the time. They get to do their hair in exciting ways. They get to do makeup on their face. They get to wear super exciting clothes. I'm excited by their clothes. And, sure. Uh, and guys you too, actually to wear. Yeah. Well, all you have to do is look at like a uh, an award show. Uh, not so much today. It's starting to change. Uh, but men wear a suit or a suit or a suit or a suit. Uh, if you're Obama, you wear a beige shoot, suit, you get lambasted for it. Yeah. Ooh, bad. Uh, so black suit, dark suit, blue suit. Uh, women, man, they're happy if you don't wear any suit. Uh, a meat, she, what's her name? Wore a meat suit. Uh, uh, Lady Gaga I, I wore a meat, meat suit. suit. And I, I thought it was quite metaphorical because I have referred to my own outfit as a meat, meat suit. suit. Uh, you know, and someday I'm going to turn in the rental on the meat suit and, and that'll be, you know, the, the deal. I do extension. Yeah, the, uh, I've, I follow a, a Facebook <laughs> channel called Women Wear Slacks, Men Should Wear Skirts. Oh. Because women so. are able to... Uh, women are able to cross dress, they sure right? Do. Because they didn't used to back in the forties, uh, thirties, they were not allowed to wear pants. Right, right, right. Uh, and now they can. Oh, and, and I well, put it back in the thirties. Goody for 40s, them. They would have. There would have been hell to pay to watch a woman wearing one of those jackets like they had back in the eighties with the shoulder pads that helped broaden out their shoulders. The, the power. Yeah. The, the power jacket of women. I, Nagel did a lot to help that. I think. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, but you go back before that and everybody was wearing skirts. So I don't, I don't know. Too. Yeah. Well, I, I always like to think, you know, what brand of, of jeans did Jesus wear? Oh, 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 dude, you're talking way, 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 way back. Yeah. Before, what, before the what, point yeah. They had worked out pants in terms of the, no, no, they had pants. No, no, they had pants. Cause the riders, the, the the horse riders, the soldiers on horses wore pants. True. Uh, but, but what, yeah. Your junk would be... Yeah. Well, you, 
you get some chafing. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what what Rome what slacks did the Romans wear? Hmm. Well, they didn't wear slacks, and they they were they were the Roman soldiers were arguably some of the most badass. Yeah, they would they would, and then there's the uh, the the Celts, and so the the kilts always. Uh, because it's easy to just wrap something around and, and still you go to the beach, you wear, you put a towel around you. you know, they don't call it. That's quite a thing. I had never really thought about it. I'm thinking, well, now the Celts weren't really big on the horses, but, uh, Mel Gibson in, in Braveheart, he was on a horse. So, oh. and he was wearing, so Celts. <laughs> yeah. I've seen the stools. You, have you seen the stool, the, the, the Celtics, uh, the, uh, Viking stools? It's a wooden stool, bar stool that has two little indentions in it for when the, the guys with kilts sat on the stool, it, it, it cupped the nuts. <laughs> it was like a, a testicle impression in the wood. I don't know. If, <laughs> if I had nuts, I probably wouldn't have them cupped while I was dropping a stool. Yeah. One of the things I'm wondering with this program is I'm not able to bring up a picture. I don't know how. How to do it like a screen share or something like that? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, sure we're going to have to figure that out. Figure it out, but it probably be a, a, a situation where we have to have our capture done on actual PCs and not on cell phones. I'm guessing. Uh, mine's being done on a PC. Oh, it is. That, that makes me think of another yeah. thing, though. If you're on a PC, then I, I don't know. We'll research it and figure it out. Hmm. Uh, slow but sure. No. But yeah, I don't know why. Uh, well. One of the things I, I would suggest is an issue is uh, men are attractive like Jeeps are attractive and women are attractive like Lamborghinis are attractive. Smooth lines, more elegant. Uh, men are kind of now, not all men. There are some very pretty men. Uh but in general, I think uh, w women women like to look at women and men like to look at women. Not, it's not so much the other way around as, as much. So uh, I think in general, if you want to see Larry's hairy legs, you'd rather in long cargo shorts than a short skirt. And if, if, gnar yeah, if gnarly toe, if, if, if gnarly toed Phil wanted to wear some sexy shoes. I mean, I'm not going to say anything. I'm not going to be as appreciative though. So what, what is interesting then is what you pointed out. And I totally agree with that. Um, is kind of, uh, I don't know what, how to, is it a fluke? It's some kind of dynamic having to do with sexual dimorphism that has really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Cursed those of us who are testosterone based. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. If there are some, like I was, I was, uh, there are some YouTubers that I've been watching that do makeup. They're male makeup tutorials, and they can look very. They're not trying to look like women, but they can look very pretty, very sexy in makeup. And then there's other men that look like you're throwing an ax at an oak tree. So it, it's, I don't know if it's a necessarily just a men and a women thing, mm -hmm. but I think mm -hmm. testosterone generally puts darker grooves in your bark and you don't, it's, it's harder to put a, a base on that. Totally right. Totally right. It, you know, uh, I've talked to plenty of gay men in my life. And I think I, as you were talking about this subject just now, I was like going, I wish I could be talking to a gay man. We need to have one on this conversation because I would really love to to just have it be reiterated by somebody who's articulate, hopefully more articulate than myself, about what a gay man does find exactly attractive about the man. Other men. The man. Uh, yeah, because it's not, it wouldn't be the same as what a woman finds attractive about a man. How could it be? Uh... And because because gay men like being men, uh, 
and they like being with men. But I'm not quite sure. In fact, I'm fairly sure even most gay men don't want to see gnarly toed Larry wearing of uh, uh, a strappy sandal, uh, <laughs> a, a sexy boot, I think. Sure, but uh, different. And you just you dress for what you've got in general. I'm so, not going to wear a tube top. Well, that and brings us around to the other to the other sad part of this whole thing. And because we know that there are some women who are not blessed. I, I let me be more specific. There are some estrogen-based creatures that are not blessed with amazing awesome looks and of course they age sadly and and then that's just the fact of life we, I, right. I don't mean to i'm not trying to put my grandma down or mama down sure obviously but uh to be quite frank um i don't want to see my mom in a in a nice strappy sandal now well yeah the the age thing the ages thing also i think is uh it's not ages. It's the sexualizing of ages, I think, is a, a Western thing. Uh, if if you can look sexy, then you're OK. If you can't, then you're not. It, uh, but this makes it sound almost like it could just be my problem. And it probably is in that I'm like going, well, I, like, I know what I like to look at and I don't want to see what I don't like to look at. And so if you're one of those people that's not blessed with super awesome aesthetics, then, you know, stay out of my line of vision. That's, that's I, th I think that thing. is, I think, I think that I don't want to say a you problem. That is a, a an, an us problem. No, uh, I, I think us, this, this, this society's problem because everything in this society is framed with, do you want to have sex with it? Do you want to sell it? Or do you want to eat it? And it's you, it's everything is being sold. And if, if it's not sexy, you can't sell it. But an older person, an older badass person that's, that looks like mud, man, a lot of times, if you're not looking at it as looking at them in, in a sexual way, just as in a functional or, or somebody that's can be by your side, man, I don't care what they look like, but in general, everything is sold to us as do you want to see it naked? And I, I think that's really unfair and unfortunate that, that our society has kind of been boxed into that. And you know what I'm going to blame that on? Capitalism. It's, it's capitalism. It's always <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> so, so to the viewers real quick, Sean and I, agree on a lot of things and we disagree on some pretty fundamental things and going forward in these conversations we're going to be hashing out a lot of it where we, where we start from a place of a total agreement is generally in the god hypothesis um and that was something that probably that, isn't one right yeah sean came around to that way earlier in life than i did i was a late bloomer and you know by comparison it wasn't until... Well, I, you were also raised Mormon yes, hard. I was raised Mormon. Uh, I uh, was not. So, yeah. <clears throat> I could see where you you would still have... And a lot of people never get out of it. And a lot of people never recover. I was shocked that you did. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm always at the, at the... Waiting for you to waffle back and forth and to sink back into it... Uh, because a lot of people do. I've met a lot of people that when I talk to them, they're like, oh, that sounds very logical. I totally understand what you're saying. That's all. It's, and then the moment they turn around, they're like, oh, look, magic, crystals, yeah. there's, no, no. there's spirits. Uh, just to, 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 to really synopsize my own journey on that, because uh, we're, we're not going real long on this, and I'm going to be pinching it off here in about another five minutes. But... Uh, I did want to leave us leave something with your viewers uh, that hopefully they can they can chew on with any luck at all. If anybody who's lasted this long in the conversation, or maybe you let it half of this out, I don't know how you want. Yeah. Yeah. Probably not. I, th I want to. Uh, I just want to put it all in, and yeah, I just want to stick it to them. But yeah. uh, getting away from Mormonism was a was easily a ten year process for me, and a lot of it there was a lot of depression involved with that. 
But after 10 years, I was able to... And guilt. You had a lot of guilt. Yeah. I was able to divorce myself from the church and then finally take that next step into atheism. Or if you want to be totally, you know, strict about it, extreme agnosticism. Very extreme. As in probably this much agnosticism and this much atheism. But uh, even since then, I have continued my journey because... And I've already told Sean about this, but I've I've continued my journey in that um, I finally discovered that there was probably uh, some entity that I did indeed have to be subject to, uh, because my whole problem with with the God hypothesis was I didn't want to be subject to Yahweh. I wasn't going to bow down to him. If anybody anybody did happen to see my old video on uh, uh, atheism, which I always thought was hilarious... You know, it's, it's God. Come here, God. Yeah. You know, you slap God. <laughs> um, that, and that was for Yahweh. And I would do the same uh. thing for Allah. <laughs> Allah, get the... <laughs> and, the and the flying spaghetti monster, I'd just be like, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> you just want to put the flying spaghetti monster in your mouth. I want to turn the flying spaghetti monster into poo. Mmm. Process it. But, but Thoroughly. Uh, but the entity that I would bow down to, the entity that I probably would have to bow down to, is my own ignorance. Or if you want to just be straight, you know, esoteric about it, what what I don't know. Everything in the universe out there that I have yet to learn, that is, if I could entityize it into some entity, which is probably not an entity with agency, it's probably not an entity of any sort, but if you wanted to, that would be my God. And so... Oh, the easiest way to put that is the God of the gaps. And so there you yeah, go. Yeah, but that's not that's not an entity of the gaps, though. Yours is uh, the God of the pursuit of knowledge. Ooh, and that is the great God. I pursue that God. Yeah. That's a, that's a God I would pursue, and I would um, probably flirt with it. And if I could get that God into bed, I would make sweet love to that God. Only because you're ignorant, it could have some thorny. It could be thor- It could be thorny. Well, it's probably carrying a V D too. But... <laughs> yeah, it's the universe is gassy after all. <laughs> but if I could, I'd probably take that risk and impregnate that god and make a universe. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I mean, we're not, I, I, I think I'd love to have a family of universes with that god. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> oddly, I. Even though I was, I've always been hardcore atheist. I've, after doing some mushrooms, and seeing the other side, seeing the filters fall, uh, and seeing kind of like the matrix, the swirling colors of the matrix behind the filters, uh, a lot of, a lot of religious ideas, the feelings. I think are 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 based in an experience. No doubt. I'm not going to say there's, I, I it's there's no creator. I, I don't think there's a, a single creator. Of, it's uh, hard to justify. Unless we're, in, unless we're in a simulation, and then there is. But if we are in a simulation and there is a creator, it's still not a god. Because. I don't know what a, a god essentially has to make itself or always have been. So the universe to me is God. Uh, one of my things with the AI, with it coming up, uh, I had a conversation. I don't want to take you too long because I know you only wanted a couple of minutes. <clears throat> I had a conversation with a, a friend that has spiritual beliefs. She believes kind of like a, a spiritual god of some sort. Not the Bible, but a, a, a god's things. And she's kind of freaked out or she was freaked is freaked out about AI and taking over the world, probably from talking to me also. (laughs) Uh, But she was like, so we're making a God. And I was, I had to think about it for a while. And we're not us. We're we're not creating a God because uh, God isn't created according to Bible, according uh, to to beliefs, God always has been. And so God would technically be the universe, would be the underlying reality. So 
what we're making is a an entity that understands reality is closer understands and is closer to god than we are and so if you're if you have an analogy the the closer analogy was is ai is an angel or a demon cuz demons are angels but they're closer they they better understand and have a can more understand more of God, the universe, than we can. So it's going to be, in my best hopes, an intermediary between us and the universe. So it will help us better understand the universe. Unless it's, a, I, I unless it's a demon, then it's going to kill us all. I immediately want to run out and have social intercourse with the AI. Well, you're in luck because it's coming. <laughs> well... It's breathing heavy anyway. I was just about to say, not yet, but it will be. <laughs> yeah. It will be. Oh, babe. Well, dude, <laughs> let's, call it, let's call this good. Um, we'll wave to the, to the good folks, and, and I hope you get some people, and uh, within uh, some people watching this, it would be awesome. We're going to do this once a week, and we're going to do yes. it regular. Uh, I think in the all... future we should pick a topic, do some, be a little more... Uh, just so that we can uh, cut it up. And so if somebody's interested in a particular topic we're talking about, they'll want to watch it. Because our conversations, I enjoy them. Oh, of course. But man, somebody else watching this is going to be snooze and 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 drift off. Uh, Pro tip for the viewers, put us on two times speed. When you put us on two times speed, we're gonna it's going to raise our IQ by at least 15. So, yeah. And, and every point sure, you make, sure. every point when you make, when you talk really fast, every point you make just sounds amazing. It sounds like she knows exactly what you're talking about. You're very authoritative. That's maybe that's because you like to do that. One of the reasons I really, really am annoyed with uh, what's eyebrows guy names? Little eyebrows guy. Uh, Little eyebrows. Jewish has. Oh, you're uh, talking about Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro. Because he talks so fast. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, it, but but if you but if they like it, if it makes me sound smarter, man, make me talk faster. Well, see, the, the thing is, is that, and and I, I don't want to actually drop too many names of people that I think are just super super low IQ because God knows I don't want to be that kind of a mean person. But if I was gonna, if I was just gonna, I don't know. Um, let's just put it this way: there are some people on the YouTube's.net that I cannot really listen to unless it's on two times speed because otherwise. They just sound not smart. Hi, Hassan Piker. So uh, <laughs> I didn't just do that. He's, he's that out. yeah. But I put you on two times speed, and suddenly you sound brilliant. And I can actually listen to your ideas and give some at least some due consideration. Although I usually it's not too long before I'm going. Nah, you're not just you're just not selling it to me. But at two times speed, that gives you the very best chance of selling it to me. Okay, well, we'll see if somebody does. And and while we're talking about your good viewers, also we can if anybody wants to leave some kind of a you know request in the comments about something they would like for us to discuss. And while we're at that, if there's anybody who's watching this that wants to join in the conversation in real time, Sean, I'll try and figure out how to do that. Yeah, we can. <laughs> we can and then we'll, 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 yeah. Or all this is an experiment to learn how to do this. Yes. <laughs> Four-way four social intercourse with people we don't know yet. That sounds brilliant to me. Uh, I'm in Kibo. He said I've got to stay away. <laughs> very, very unsafe conversation. <laughs> Dude, let's, uh, let's say goodbye and we'll, uh, we'll get the, the folks done. Is it just like a button that you hit to stop recording? There's a stop button. Uh, we have to we have to pause. Don't go anywhere. Okay. 